what's up good people how are you today well i hope i am leaving my job on my lunch break going to the car dealership to pick up a vehicle to test drive no i'm not purchasing a new car i'm just test driving a vehicle because that's fun who doesn't like new cars and new car smell right but uh yeah i'm going to pick this car up so i'll take you guys along for the ride but let me just say real quick rant rant warning rant okay first of all let me put my seatbelt on because i'm trying to be safe but let me let me turn this curb first because i don't want you guys to fall but um let me just say that um I got a lot I got a lot going on I feel like y'all not even looking at me let me let me turn this a little bit all right is that better first of all let me just say make this quick statement okay it's some nasty filthy behind people at my job they've you know they've always been nasty they didn't just get nasty they've been nasty and it just irks my nerve every time I encounter the filth like these people I just I don't get it I don't get it but you know what that means that they house nasty and I just can't deal with it so um with that being said I'm not even gonna get into the uh what was I getting ready to say the details of the filth because I'm gonna spare you I'm gonna spare your gag reflex however these people are nasty especially the women like why my lady so nasty though and, you, and why you nasty first thing in the morning? Like, you didn't wash your behind before you left the house? All these random smells? Uh-uh. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. It's one thing to go to the bathroom and do number number one. It's another thing to go to the bathroom and do number two. But when you got just random funk, just, 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 just radiating and emitting from your pores, from, 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 let's just be real, from your crotch, that's a problem okay sometimes you got to get in that tub and you got to soak you got to soak that tank up off you okay i'm a woman i know I, I go through things we all go through things but mm -mm. you can't you just can't come the word you can't go nowhere smelling like that that is inappropriate you should just not do that but i digress Second thing that's bothering me. Y'all see I'm out of breath. I'm passionate about this thing. Second thing that's been bothering me is and, and it's not really bothersome should I say but it kind of gets gets at me sometimes. You know obviously I'm on YouTube and I you know I'm not just a YouTuber. I have lots of channels that I'm subscribed to. I think the last time I looked at it or really paid attention to it, I think it said that I had 96, 96 channels that I was subscribed to. So 96 subscriptions. So anywho, um, I have recently, in the past, I don't know how long, um, just really picked up in my commenting and when i do leave comments i always try to make them meaningful and a lot of times lighthearted and funny you know i'm not one of these people that just comes on to somebody's page and leaves a comment that is you know negative or malicious or just um what's the word inappropriate i, I don't i don't go on people's pages and leave things inappropriate i try my best to think outside of myself and think how things will affect others and I just I just try that's all I can say is I try but I left a comment last night on a pretty popular youtubers page and a lot of people felt where I was coming from a lot but it always is one or two people that take what you say and kind of twisted a little bit and don't get me wrong i'm not at all blaming or pointing the finger at these people that did um i totally got what they were saying and 
it did make me think and i did offer up an apology to the people the 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 youtubers that i left the comment on their their page or their site or whatever that i left the comment on only because i just didn't want them to maybe get the same impression or take things out of context of what i was saying but and, and let me let me back up honestly i feel like and i know i'm rambling i know that it's it's very hard for you guys to really connect the dots of what i'm saying because you guys don't know what was posted what the content surrounding the posting was Let's just say that a lot of people left comments after me and they kind of mm, took what I said and tried to piggyback off of it and that was a bit much I believe but nonetheless I didn't say anything um, I just kind of let them you know post whatever and um, it kind of just went kind of spiraled out of control just a tad bit but nonetheless, these people had, I believe, good intentions and pure heart. And um, some of the people that left comments, they kind of, um, they made valid points. That's all I'll say. They made valid points in what they were trying to convey. And um, the post just kind of went haywire. That sums it up. The post went haywire. Let's just leave it at that. However, I'm saying all of this to say this. really going to consider maybe not posting comments anymore on YouTube because granted I know you cannot please everyone and I'm definitely not out to be a people pleaser that's just not me and how I'm set up however it's just crazy the things that people say and blow up and twist and take out of context and how people turn things around to try to make you look like you have just you know this malicious intent and you're just cold-hearted and you're you know one way or the other like it's crazy and these people don't know you from Adam they're essentially internet bullies and it's just too much it's it's just too much it's way too much and it's just way unnecessary and i'm just to the point where i just don't even really want to deal with it this is really honestly my first time dealing with something like this i've seen this happen though on so many channels it's crazy like people just need to chill out sometimes they really do and it's just it's just too much so that's what i'm considering but on that note i am pulling up at the dealership so i will let you guys see just what we're working with in a few minutes hey guys so i am in the new whip and um this is what it's looking like
But anyway, so yeah. And here comes the guy, Rob. He just moved my car around the back. He's bringing me my keys back. Say hey, Rob. Yeah, this is my car. Oh. Say hey. Hey. <laughs> That's Rob, hey guys. guys. I'm back. And I just went and picked up my lunch, which um, was at this Chinese restaurant by my job. Um, first, let me show you my food. And I'm, I'm not going to eat this in the car. I just wanted to show it to you guys. Like, I don't know why, but I just had a strong hankering for some shrimp lo mein. Let me say this to all the people that are cashiers. This might sound real petty, okay? If you do not have change, whether it be I don't have any dollars or I don't have any fives or I don't have any quarters or whatever, don't just naturally assume that the customer is going to give you whatever is left over. Again, this may sound petty to some people, but to me it matters. Let me decide whether or not I'm going to give you my change. I went in the Chinese restaurant. The lady told me my total was I forget. Um, just that quick, dog. I think it was like six dollars and something, some change. So I try my best to always give um, as close to exact change as possible. And that's another thing about me that a lot of people don't know. Like I love to operate in cash. I feel like it's just the best policy. I understand that you have credit cards and you know to, to show that you have good credit, you have to. Use your credit and don't get me wrong I definitely have credit cards but I feel like you can get in a lot of trouble that way so my policy is if I have cash I'm using cash and nine times out of ten I have cash because I make it my business to go to the ATM and get me some cash it's not a hassle for me for some people that's a hassle they don't want to go to the ATM and that's fine I'm just saying how I operate and, and it works it truly does work anyway the point is I gave the lady not exact change but a little bit over exact and she kept my change now I didn't say anything because I'm trying to be polite today I'm trying however don't just naturally assume that the person is willing to give you that change like I feel like that is so rude if you don't have the change whether it's pennies quarters nickels dimes it does not matter let that person know hey just FYI I don't have the change to give to give you, you know, X amount of cents or X amount of dollars back. Let that person decide whether or not they want to say, oh, that's okay, it's fine. But for me, I value every penny that I have, okay? Every penny. Because your girl don't have no money, number one. And number two, I collect coins to put in my daughter's pink bank. I'm trying to instill slowly, yes, at eight years old, I'm trying to instill a sense of responsibility, a sense of how to save. You gotta start your kids out. you need my coins because clearly you kept it right 